my name is Betsy. Welcome to my channel. And today, we're gonna make pinch pots. It's so cute! Oh, pinch pot! Oh, pinch pot, so cute! Well, okay, so you can see I have a little, little pinch pot. This is made with air dry clay that you can mold with your hands. And then you just let it sit out for a few days and it dries. And then you have a cute little pot. If you're if you're good at making pots, it'll be cute. If you're not good at making pots, it's gonna look like crap. I mean, it looks it looks really lumpy and weird. I'm also gonna show you like how to clean it up a little bit with sandpaper. Then you can paint it, and make it look less like it was created by a five-year-old. First of all, you're gonna need clay. You can get it at like an art supply store. Make sure it's air dry clay and not the kind of clay that needs to be fired in a kiln. You can't do that at home. Your oven doesn't get hot enough. It needs to be like over a thousand degrees. I've got some little hand tools for like making marks and stuff in the clay. Got a bowl of water. You gotta keep that clay and your hands kind of moist. Oh, a big old knife to cut the clay. Don't cut yourself, be careful. I'm gonna get rid of the wax paper because it's gonna make a ton of noise. I recommend using wax paper. Don't make a big old mess. Your mom will get mad. Open this puppy up. Cut off some clay. You have your clay and just start molding it. Cylinder shape is where you need to begin. You you really want to avoid this because this is you have to like really um just avoid it, okay? You can't you can't always explain everything. And it's like not wet enough. Your hands are gonna get all ooey gooey. If you don't like that, then don't do this, I would say. Too much water, it's too slippery for it. Once you've got your clay into a nice little compact cylinder sort of shape, you're gonna start pinching. I'm gonna make thumb wet. You're just kinda gonna pinch into the center with your thumb. Well, I guess you're not pinching yet, you're pushing. And then you start pinching, like squeezing the sides a little bit, like pushing down inward and squeezing the side to expand the inside and thin the edges. And you have to work a little bit quickly because once you start getting dry cracks in the clay, you're so screwed. I wish the neighbor's dog would stop barking. Drives me crazy. Why would you get like, oh, see there's a crack here. Dang it. This is supposed to look easy and I'm like already screwing up. Pull up a chair. It's gonna take a while. Oh my god, that dog. Seriously, whoever has a giant dog in the 13th Alvandismal of Paris that barks all day, screw you. Screw you. This is nice. It's a relaxing activity. It requires patience, which is something I'm generally very short on. I should be more patient in this situation. A lot of my frustration comes from being impatient and wanting things to go right, quickly, fiercely. Anyway, moving on. Look at that. Look at that. Turning into a pot. I'm gonna use my Hoya pot. As you can see, it's too big for this. All right. Wet fingers. Oh no, me no. Oh. See, I took too long. I started gibbering on. <laughs> So the number one thing in pinch pottery is like, if your clay starts getting cracks in it, get it moist, but then that can be a little frustrating because then it's like slippery as a fish. Number two, don't talk too much. Don't, don't start ranting and going on and on about like patience and people and just get it done, okay? You also need to make the pot a little bit wider in circumference than the pot you're trying to accommodate because it will shrink up a little bit, I learned, as it dries. That, that's good to go. You know, you can just make lines like this. Ta -da. Ta -da. The next step is to simply let this sit for days. You just put this somewhere where the cats can't get it and let it dry. So you need a really, really fine sandpaper. Do I know the grain number? No, I don't. It's just really, really fine, okay? The finest stuff you can find. Okay, that's good enough for me, whatever. For the eyes, I used little buttons. 
Just put a little button on there. Made an imprint. Okay, so for the record, I've never done this before. We're gonna discover this together. I bought some acrylic paints. I'm gonna go for it. So yeah, I guess now we just wait. Wait for the uh, paint to dry. Go for a walk. Get the kids from the school, take the cats to the vet. Watch some TV. Okay, now that you've had like half a glass of wine and you boredly picked out the pot roast in the kitchen for a while, you can tip your, your pot over and paint the inside. There you go, white on the outside, gold on the inside, just like me. Okay, so now you've waited an hour and you can start putting the gloss on your jar. Again, I've never done this before, we're learning together. And I'm gonna have to let this legit dry for like an hour before I can flip it over and do the inside. But I have my wine and I can go pick at that pot roast. Okay, it's been a while. I'm gonna do the inside now. Where do my paint brush go? There it is. Okay. That's all done. For as ugly as it is, the coating looks great. Now you just let this dry for a few hours and um, you have a mediocre but shiny pinch pot. Congratulations. He's pretty cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope um, if, if it wasn't educational, it was at least entertaining. In the future, I think I'll probably just stick to plants. That seems to be my forte. If you do like plants, you like watching plant-related videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the future. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below. I'll definitely get back to you. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. See you soon.